On Thursday, September 7th, the John Jay College community, led by the administration, student body, and athletic department, took part in the annual 9-11 flag planting commemoration ceremony on the Jaywalk. This year, we were joined by a very special John Jay alum who served to defend our freedom in the United States military. This is an important opportunity for us to just show our support for those that do not have an opportunity to be here today. 9-11 was tragic, we lost thousands of souls, we've lost a lot of folks that with me fought many different continents to make sure it stayed over there and that it did not come here. But in the spirit of John Jay, the reason why I always come back and I love to look at you guys is because your energy, your willingness to give, to volunteer, and to recognize what first responders do for us, what your military does for us, and what all of you aspire to become. All of us that have gone before you, and those of us that have given the largest, last measure of sacrifice, look to you as we hand off the baton. As we walk around and look at these flags, please think about those that wish were beside you, talking to you, versus us looking down on them with reverence, with humility, and appreciation. It is so special to have not just Major General, Russell as himself, but he is a John Jay alum, and so he, he is a bloodhound to the core, and, and watching him interact with our, our veteran students and all of our students, and his pride in being a John Jay alum is just so special, and to watch them gravitate to him and see themselves in him, it makes the day even more special. Well, this event tells me that we still care. And when I served many years ago and several times from the beginning of the 9-11, it shows me that the world still cares. And even this younger generation, even though they weren't born then, they still show up, show out, and show their appreciation. Thank you all um, for making us this, this special um, time here at John Jay. Every year you all show up in great numbers to plant 3,000 flags. That's, not, that's no easy feat to, I guess, the General Russell said to remember those uh, this event means to me basically unity, brotherhood, and basically sacrifice. It's important to remember those we've lost and also those that continue to serve our country. I have friends and family who have served in the military after 9-11 and before 9-11 and one of my best friends from high school, uh, a close family member of his, he, uh, he passed away during 9-11. So every time this event comes up, I always think about him and I always think about the people that came before me. So it just means a lot to see everybody coming together, no matter where they're from, who they are, and to plant flags to represent the country. Every year, the veterans commit themselves to putting the flags up, to, to keeping this memorial alive, and I just think it's super appropriate. This event tells me, reminds me of how special this community is. Many of our students, as we saw today, weren't even born on September 11th, 2001, but they come here every year to honor the memory of those who sacrificed their lives on September 11th. So it means so much to me that our community um, will always remember the 67 members of our community that we lost on September 11th, and many we lost after September 11th in the aftermath of that horrible, tragic day. But what it does here is it's this sense of community here that's so special at John Jay that we will never let those memories fade and so that's what's important to me that our young people keep the legacy alive. Monday September 11th 2023 22 years later we continue to remember the 67 service men and women from our John Jay family who lost their lives defending our freedom and our way of life. We eternally thank them for their service.